Hey Tommy, did you know that there is a new Mercedes today? Yeah, a brand new C-Class, and it's been a long time since we've seen a brand new C-Class. Yeah, I love these debut slash premiere videos because we get to experience the car with you because we'll be on the chat when you're watching this video. So let us know in the comments what you think of it, but you know what, I think we've teased them long enough. How long has it been since the last C-Class came out, Tommy? Like seven years. Dude, you were in high school. That's a long time. You were yeah. in high school. What's the generation called? You're big into these Mercedes generation names. So W206, and Mercedes focused on bringing a lot more tech into this generation, derived from the newest flagship, the S-Class. So we're gonna talk about some of the cool things that have made its way down into the smaller C-Class. And for a long time, the C-Class was like the baby bins, but now there are so many more affordable models that the C-Class is like middle of the range. In any case you're wondering where to place this in the hierarchy of the automotive world, the new C-Class competes with, of course, vehicles like the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, the Lexus IS, which just got unveiled, the new IS 500 yesterday, and of course, the Volvo S60. Now, there are a lot more reveals. For some reason, Tommy, like the whole world is revealing new cars today, and if you're interested in those, uh, they're gonna be over at TFL Cars. Zach is working really hard to make sure you keep up on all the newest cars, including the new Hyundai and Kia. Yeah, exactly. Let's talk about some of the big talking points. Okay, let's go for it. With the new C-Class. So, it's the latest generation of the MBUX infotainment screen, which looks great. I love the way they've incorporated it into the center screen, uh, into the center of the car, I should say. I think it even has the newest Hey Mercedes functionality. And the other big news, it's got a new engine with a 48 volt mild hybrid system, which we'll talk about in a sec. Hey, can I tell you an inside joke? Yes. Uh, if you guys have the new Mercedes MBUX system, ask this question. Hey Mercedes, and you gotta be like that. Hey Mercedes, so it understands you, unless you change its name. What do you think of BMW? You'll be surprised by what the car says. <laughs> That's right, yeah, it's got a pretty like clever response. So the new C-Class isn't a radical overhaul in terms of styling compared to the old generation, but I do love that it's more fresh, it's more angular, more modern. Of course, you get a brand new grille, new LED headlights, and a new uh, two-piece taillight as well, and it's bigger in almost every way. Of course, that's why it's so huge now, remember? Uh, you know, I've always wondered about this, right? Every generation, the vehicle gets bigger in this way. Um, what happens like like with the like the C class becomes more like the E class and then eventually the S class. You see what I'm saying? It yeah. just keeps does the S class become like a full size pickup truck? Well, I think what happens is you get new models that are now the small ones, like the new A class, right? So there's something slots underneath. Yeah, it. they just slide a new but, one. But what happens it. when the A class becomes a C class? Well, they're out of letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they ran out of letters. That's a good question. So, Tommy, yeah, it's longer, and according to Zach's notes here, it's 2.5 inches longer. Yeah, it's got a longer wheelbase. Uh, you get about an inch more headroom on the new version, and you also get more elbow and shoulder room. So what's underneath the hood still has a two liter four cylinder, but this is the M254 engine. And it's worth noting too that the details on today's reveal are in the C300, which is typically like the entry level car. And the C300 is available in both rear wheel drive and formatic all wheel drive configurations. So, so no front wheel drive C-Class, huh? Thank goodness, no, <laughs> thank still, goodness. still rear wheel drive. What's the horsepower? Uh, 255 horsepower, 295 pound foot of torque, that's up from 241 and 273 from the previous model. And you get a nine speed automatic transmission. Uh, and of course, like everything nowadays, it's a 48 volt mild hybrid with what? EQ Boost? Yep, that's right. I, I assume that's what it's gonna be called. So uh, 20 more horsepower in theory with that little mild hybrid system, a lot more torque in short bursts as well. Mercedes is predicting zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds and a top speed which is electronically limited at 130 miles per hour. But the big news with the C-Class apart from the engine which is a, a new architecture apparently is the interior. Uh, a lot of new tech features, so tell me what it has. Well, it's got the uh, ch uh, big 11.9 inch infotainment screen, uh, and of course the Hey Mercedes and the over the air updates, and of course the available nine by three inch head up display. But what I love about that, Tommy, is uh, the way they finally incorporated the center screen into kind of the center console, right? For the longest time, uh, everybody's been following Tesla's lead and just taking like a tablet and just going, <laughs> right? Sticking it in the middle of the uh, dashboard or taking the central um, infotainment system and moving it over to the driver's side um, instrument cluster and making it digital. But here, they've actually incorporated in a very graceful and elegant way uh, that big screen. I, I love it actually, I think it's really 
badass. Well, they did do what you just said, though. They also moved it in front of the driver now. Yeah, I know. So you have a huge digital instrument cluster right in front of your steering wheel, so you have uh, full control of what's going on. Tons of info on what uh, the vehicle is um, experiencing as you drive down the road. Uh, I just, I like the interior, I like the new central vents, it looks very modern, the seats have this really kind of crisp and very dramatic design, I think it's beautiful on the inside. Uh, the interior changes are much bigger than the exterior changes, which is much more subtle, but that's not a bad thing because you're going to spend all your time driving and less of your time walking around your car looking at it. So it also has agility control suspension, which is continuously variable dampening, and then of course there's the AMG lines with more sporty suspension setups. But, so is the agility control suspension the same thing that's like on the GLE where you can actually bounce out of like uh, well that's for sand for soft sands where it can you know does a little like uh, I don't think that the C-Class is gonna be doing a jiggy to get out of soft sand you know what else you know what that else it does what it does uh, this really cool thing like when you're going around a corner right and let's say you're going around a left turn what normally happens of course is that the car uh, tends to kind of push toward the outside of the corner and the suspension kind of goes the wrong way, right? I know, but on the new one, it leans in. It, on the new one, it actually actively leans you into the turn. It's pretty cool. It's like, it, it's actually like being on a motorcycle. It's the exact same thing. So you also have active drive assist, active steering assist, speed limit assist, all available um, options. In addition to the standard aids, which include front and rear pre-collision avoidance, uh, that kind of thing. So what about pricing and availability? Uh, yeah, what about pricing and availability? <laughs> no pricing announced yet. That's going to come closer to launch, and it's supposed to be hitting dealers in early 22. Yeah, uh, and so, of course, you know, yesterday we were gathered here with you all announcing the uh, new IS500 with a V8. I don't think Mercedes is going to stick a V8 into this. We haven't heard anything about what the AMG models are going to be, but rumor mill has it that it's going to be some kind of plug-in hybrid electrified um, uh, system. So the old one, of course, by turbos and, you know, big screaming, honking, screaming chicken thing with the V8. Uh, but the new one looks like it's probably going to be electrified. I think that's a good bet, Dad. Mercedes is apparently going to have every model now have a four-cylinder, including the AMG. So we'll see how that uh, pl plays out. Yeah, you know, the uh, C-Class has always been, until, you know, the B and the A came along here in America, kind of the entry-level Mercedes, right? So it was the one that you could go and you could lease at the Mercedes dealership if you wanted the uh, big, you know, star on your hood uh, and do it affordably. Uh, and I think they've actually raised the game with this one. It feels like it's a little bit more... Uh, uh, I don't know, classy, I guess, a little bit more uh, sporty, a little bit more stylish, uh, all the things that I would want if I were, you know, buying a Mercedes-Benz. Well, let us know what you think of the new C-Class uh, and its new interesting interior, which I think is much improved. And as always, head over to wearedeadtifocar.com. Yeah, for more news, views, and of course, independent and honest reviews. Um, I kind of miss auto shows, Tommy. It's fun getting together with everybody here and watching this new vehicle being unveiled, but I really wish I could actually stand next to it, sit inside of it, you know, really get a sense for what it's like in the flesh uh, because, you know, we're looking at the pictures just like you are, uh, and sometimes, you know, the car's um, stance, you know, the car's presence is hard to gauge off of, well, a picture like that.